Hello students, yet another amazing method for dodging tables. Now this is an important concept and students often feel discomfort when they are asked tables between numbers that is 13 into 7, 17 into 4, 17 into 8 and so on. Now there has to be a method for writing the dodging tables. This are this type of questions are very very frequent in junior level examinations where the students tend to recite the whole table even if they are asked 14 into 8 or 16 into 7 and so on. So a lot of effort goes in remembering all the tables. So we need to have a method which we can teach students at junior level so that they can write any table from 12 to 19, any multiple of these numbers comfortably within a short time. Now, see, I am taking up first 12 into 4. Now see, the students mostly, they are comfortable writing their tables of single digit numbers. So when it comes to double digit numbers, they are, they feel little bit difficulty. So now, instead of writing 12 into 4 students can be told to write 2 into 4 and whatever product they obtain they must write it in 2 digit numbers so if, if 2 into 4 is 8 then we have, they have to write it as 0 8 and now in the next step they have the answer of 12 into 4 what they do is the in between numbers, this is the first number, second, third and fourth. So the in between numbers, they add this number, so 4 plus 0, that is 4. This is the first digit of the answer. And whatever is the last digit will give you the last digit of the answer. So 12 into 4 is 48. Now you can generalize this method on some other numbers. See this is the first example, now second example, 13 into 7. Now see, they don't need to do 13 into 7, just do 3 into 7. Now they know that 3 into 7 is 21. Now in the next step you have the answer. What are the intermediate terms? See, leave the first and last 7 and 2. So 7 plus 2 is 9. So that gives you 9 as the first digit. And what is the last digit here? 1. So that is the units place of the product 13 into 7 is 91. The beauty of this method is that answer will never be wrong and students do not have to recite the table of 13 right from the beginning. Now see 14 into 8. Now see 14 into 8 just write 4 into 8. Now 4 into 8 is 32. Add the intermediate terms 8 plus 3 is 11. And what is the last term? 2. So 112 is the answer. See how much time it takes to write 14 into 8 through this method. I think through a practice of 5 to 6 minutes, you can master this concept and write any product of numbers from 12 to 19. That is in only 2 or 3 seconds. Let us practice this method more. Say we have 15 into 9. Now see 15 into 9, if we don't write, write 15 into 9, we write just 5 into 9. What is 5 into 9? 45. So what are the intermediate terms? 9 and 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. And what is the last term? 5. So 135 is the required product. Likewise, another example, say we have 16 into 7. Now see 6 into 7 is 42, 7 plus 4 is 11 and last digit 2, so 112. Whatever dodging tables, you can write all tables like this. See 17 into 9, 7 into 9, 63, 9 plus 6, 15 and last digit is 353 is the answer. 18 into 4, 8 for the 32, so 4 plus 3 7 and last digit is 2 72. 19 into 6 
9 into 6 is 54, 6 plus 5 is 11, and last digit is 4. So we have 17 into 3, 7 into 3 is 21, 3 plus 2 is 5, last digit is 1. One more example, then we will conclude this trick. Say we have 18 into 8. 8 into 8 is 64. 8 plus 6 is 14. And last digit is 4. See, dodging tables become so easy for students. If they are given a small piece of paper and a pencil, they will scribble this thing in rough work and they will tell you the answer of dodging tables very very easily in a matter of just three to four seconds now see suppose we need to write any multiple of a table of 23 so for that matter uh, we can take any number up to 99 i am taking 23 as the first example and we need to find the multiple of the uh, multiples of 23 and that to the seventh multiple of 23. Now in this case normally we multiply but see here we just need to write 3 into 7. Now see forget this tens digit once it just take the unit digit and multiply it by this number. So 3 into 7 don't do 23 into 7 just do 3 into 7. So 3 into 7 is 21. Now what we do is this 2 2 means double. So what we do is this number has to be doubled. So what is the double of 7? Double of 7 is 14 and add that to this number. So we get 16. So write 16 in the beginning and whatever is the last number here, this number will automatically come as the units place of the product. So, 161 is the 7th multiple of 23. Likewise, you can take one more example of tables in the line of 20s. Say we have 28. Now, 28, we need to have, to have the 8th multiple of 28. So, what we do is 8 into 8 is 64. What is double of 8? Double of 8 is 16. And add this to this number 6 that is 22. So the first part is 22 and last part is the last digit there. So 4. So 224 is the product of 28 and 8 or the 8th multiple of 28 is 224. Take larger numbers. Say we have 37 and we need to find the 4th multiple of 37. So just do 7 into 4 28 and now see we have 3 here. So this number has to be multiplied by 3. So 3 fourths are 12 and add it to this number 2. We get 14. So 14 is the first part and last part is this number 8. 148 is the product. Take one more number in the series of numbers up to 30. Say we have 36 into 6. Now see 6 into 6 is 36. Triple of 6 is 18 and add it to this number 3 we get 21 and last digit is 6. So 216 is the product of 36 and 6. Take more examples. Say we have number in the line of 40s now. Say we have 44 and we need to find the 7th multiple of 44. So don't do 4, 44 into 7, just do 4 into 7. This is 28. And now what is the first digit? 4. So 4 times 7 added to this number. This is 30. So your product has 30 as the first part. And what is the last part? This is this number 8. So 308 is the multiple. Take a number in the line of 50s. Say we have 50. 2. And we need to find the 8th multiple of 52. So don't do 52 into 8. Just do 2 into 8. That is 16. And now first number is 5. 
so take five times this number eight and add it to this number one so you get forty one so forty one is the first part of the answer and last part is six take a number in the line of say seventies say we have seventy three and we need to find the sixth multiple of seventy three so just do three into six as eighteen now 7 so 7 times this number 6 added to this number 1 so 43 so 43 and last number is 8 say 85 multiplied by 8 times so just do 5 into 8 that is 40 and we need to take now 8 times so 8 into this number added to this number So 64 plus 4, 68. So 68, and last digit will be zero. So your answer is 680. Take one more example. Say we have a, a number in the line of nine. Say 91 into seven. So one into seven is seven. Right, zero seven. We need to have two digits here. So here nine is there. So nine into this number seven. Added to this number, zero. This is sixty-three, and last digit is seven. Likewise, you can extrapolate this method and find multiples of even numbers which are beyond one hundred. These kind of methods go a long way in creating mathematical aptitude and interest of students in the subject of mathematics, and thereby they can devise their own methods. they can come up with creative methods of remembering things and remembering the tables which are quite difficult at junior level so share these videos for the benefit of students across the globe and subscribe the channel if you like it